so for doing this, what they want us to do is they want us to simplify. So we got to use the law of e the rules of exponents. So the things that we need to remember about the rules of exponents, um, a couple things is when you have an exponent multiplied by another exponent, and you got to make sure they have the same base. Their exponents can be the same or different, but as long as they have the same base, what you're going to do is you're going to add the exponents. All right. Um, the same thing is if you're dividing, then you'd subtract. Um, but we're not dividing this problem, so we don't need to worry about that. Mm -hmm. The next thing I just want to make sure you understand is if I have x to the negative m, that equals 1 over x to the m. So if you have a number, or if you have a number raised to a negative exponent, we've got to make sure we put it now as, if that's in the numerator, you've got to now put it as a denominator. Okay. And the same thing works if you have x to the negative m, that equals x to the m. So if it's negative on the bottom, we've got to put it up top. Okay. So when we're dealing with our final answer when it says simplify, we got to make sure that uh, we're not going to have negative ex no negative exponents. Okay. Would this equal x m or x negative m? What do you mean? Would Which one? Would this equal negative m? X to that equal x to the m is equal to one over x to the negative m. Okay. Just how x to the negative m is equal to one over x to the m. So okay. it's the positive, but right. it's down below. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to simply we can multiply as long as we can only multiply um, our exponents when they have the same base. So therefore I can only multiply an x squared times x cubed and a y to the negative third times y to the fifth. Right? I can only multiply them because they have the same base. Mm -hmm. Okay? Numbers are obviously are like terms. We're going to multiply them. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write this out as three times negative two x squared times x cubed times or y to the negative third times y to the fifth. Mm -hmm. All right, now using my rule of exponents, three times negative two is going to give me a negative six. Mm -hmm. This is going to be, just like following my rule of exponents, x to the two plus three, and this is going to give me y to the negative three plus five, just following this rule of exponents, all right? Mm -hmm. So I get negative x to the fifth, y to the second power. Right. And since they both have positive exponents, I'm all good. And that's it.